All right, welcome back. Let's put this baby to bed in style. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has discovered over 4,000 objects thought to be planets just outside of our solar system. Now, recently, a team of international researchers identified 20 Earth-like planets that may be able to sustain water and thus life, meaning alien life. How soon until we start meeting our galactic neighbors? Let's turn to the one and only Dr. Michio Kaku. He's a theoretical physicist and professor at the City College of New York. Welcome back, Dr. Kaku. Glad to be on the show. So <coughs> there are 20 planets that are Earth-like, that are really, in terms of the vast universe, not that far away. How do we get there? Well, first of all, one of them looks like a doppelganger of the planet Earth. Mm. It's only 10% larger than the planet Earth. Only 500 light years from the planet Earth. But it means that there could be twins. There could be twins of the Earth in outer space. Yeah. So we're going to have an existential shock looking at the night sky, realizing that throughout the heavens there are all these twins of the Earth. Incredible. Now, there are at least 100 billion galaxies in the Milky Way. The Milky Way weighs 100 billion solar masses. And every single one of those is essentially a sun that could have planets revolving around it. And given those numbers, just in our solar system alone, isn't there a really high probability that there's got to be something out there even kind of like us? We can even give you a number for that. We have a census of the Milky Way galaxy now. We now realize that perhaps 1 in 20 stars have Earth-like planets going around them, meaning that in our own backyard, the Milky Way galaxy, there are probably a billion, a billion Earth-like planets. This is astonishing. It may mean that life is much more uh, prevalent than we ever suspected. All right, and, and how quickly is our technology growing? I mean, is it, is it conceivable that within 100 years, or even, you know, you look even further forward to 1,000 years, that we could actually traverse that kind of distance in a single human lifetime? Well, we all want to know the answer to the question, is there intelligent life yes. on the Earth? <laughs> the answer to that is obviously no. <laughs> no. No chance of intelligent life on this planet. But we think that in 100 years' time, the first starship will be sent to Alpha Centauri. Wow. Stephen Hawking has already advocated sending postage stance chips, chips this big on a sail, blasted with laser beams yeah. at 20% the speed of light. We talked about that last time you were here, and then yeah. they could create their own energy, and because they're so small, go much, much farther than we could with the technology. Right. That and even now. inside the solar system, we could go to Mars just within a day, just within one day, blasting with uh, laser beams on a parachute, sending chips to the red planet. The planets, these exoplanets that are 500 light years away, how do we find out whether or not there's water on there? I mean, do you have to physically land something on there to analyze the sample? Uh, no. So, f first of all, we identify the fact that they have a certain mass and a certain size. Yeah. And then we identify how close they are to the sun. So we know that we have a, a doppelganger, right distance from the sun, right size, 10% bigger than the Earth. Yeah. Next will be to identify H2O, water and oxygen. We we have not yet done that. Okay. So we don't know whether it's barren like Mars or super hot like Venus mm -hmm. or just right like the planet Earth. That we don't know yet. But it's just right in order to have liquid oceans. We just don't know if it has them or not. We are such Goldilocks people. All right. Well, Dr. Kaku, thank you so much. Please continue to visit. Mm -hmm. We love your view of the heavens and beyond. Okay. Very good.